What are you doing? Why do you gotta go cluttering up the counter with all this junk? They're called impulse items, Dad. Bah! People don't have impulses. I'm having one right now. How stupid do you think people are? Here's 20 bucks for gas, and oh, what's this? Licorice? I know I shouldn't, but I can't resist. <laughs> well, you had impulse items when you ran the place. Sure, you can trick a kid. Kids are stupid. Well, your days of outwitting seven-year-olds are over. Thankfully, now it's illegal for kids to smoke. What? Since when? Is it illegal for kids to smoke? What am I, a lawyer? Is nougat even a real thing, or did they just make that up? Chocolate is the last thing I want to talk about. My tooth is killing me. What, still? I thought you were getting that thing yanked. It'll be fine. Only hurts if I, ah, when I, ah. When you pronounce vowels? That could be problematic. When's the last time you saw a dentist? Uh, it's been a couple of years. A couple of years? Uh, three or four. You haven't... 92, okay? It was 1992. Are you happy now? Well, you should try and squeeze in a visit every decade or so. Four to five dentists recommend seeing a dentist. I'm not sure what the fifth guy's thinking. The last guy traumatized me with some kind of sadist sicko. Come on. He wore a leather lab coat. So go see someone else. Nougat. Nougat. How old are you? Dr. Hertz, Dr. Payne, Dr. Yankum. <sighs> not very encouraging. You're making those names up. Uh-uh. Wow, Dr. Payne. I think he fought Spider-Man. This one, Dr. McGee. That's the psycho I went to last time. McGee, that doesn't sound bad. His first name's Lance. Oh, here, go to this guy, Dr. Samuel Fenwood. Sam Fenwood, that sounds solid, huh? Type of guy who'd help you build your house. Hey, Sammy, toss me up that hammer. You got it, Brent. Nice toss, Sammy. You wanna get a beer after this? Sure, get a beer and watch the game. I like the way you think, Sammy. You in love with this guy? Is there a picture of him? If I went, I'd have to get a babysitter for Tanner. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, he's a bit of a bratty kid. What do you mean, bratty? You know, like, uh, like a brat. Kind of hell spawnish. Do you want to do it? Well, I don't... Ding, ding! Oh, someone's at the pumps. Ah. Uh. One chili cheese dog. Bless you for putting hot dogs back on the menu. You like it? Love it. Ha! Ah, that's a tofu dog with veggie chili. No, it isn't. It's a maple leaf top dog, all beef. I compliment your choice. They're on sale. Hey, Wanda, you want some lunch? I want someone to kick me in the jaw. So hard to have a regular conversation in this town. I need to find a babysitter. I gotta go to a dentist in Saskatoon. Well, I bet one of the local gals could help out. Mm -mm. Guys? Mm. There's something really attractive about a man who likes kids. Well, listen, if you're in a bind, Wanda, I could babysit. But you said you were... Very, very busy, yes, but uh, I could help out with little Tanner. Tanner's a great kid. I love Tanner. His name's Tanner, right? Yeah. All right, then. Thanks, Brent. I'll go call the dentist. Unless one of you wants to kick me in the jaw. No, seriously, right here. No? Fine. That was really nice of you. Well, I'm a problem solver. Hey, you want to come over later, help me babysit? No way. I hate kids. Hey, Paul, I want to change my bet. Put my 20 on Ireland. You can't change your bets. Just put my 20 on Ireland. Forget it, you made your bet. Fine. Then I lose my 20 and I can't pay my tab, so unless you want to be giving me free beers, put my 20 on Ireland. What are you guys watching? Soccer. You want in on the action? I got a good feeling about Brazil. Nah, I don't know anything about soccer. It's a complex sport. 
took me quite some time before I fully understood the subtleties of the game. Hey, what's he doing? You can't pick up the ball and run with it like that, you moron! Uh, this is rugby. Huh. Oh. Give me ten on Ireland. Hi, Lacey. What can I get you? I feel like a glass of wine. What's your house red? Not sure. Hey, what's it say on that bag of wine over there? Oh, that's ketchup. The one beside it. You know what? Beer's good. So what's going on here? You guys betting to see who throws up first? There's a lot of money riding on this game. You want in? No, oh, no. Thanks. I mean, no offense. I just find gambling to be a waste of time. Translation? She doesn't understand it. Well, it's confusing. Okay, for example, if I was going to bet on this game, what's the underage on the VIG? Huh? What's the over-under on the outside line? Enough yakking. I'm trying to watch the soccer. All right. That was pretty impressive. You know a lot about gambling? I made up all those words. I think I heard Vig on the Sopranos. Oh, hey, Brent, the, the Riders game's on TV tomorrow. You coming over? No can do. I got a babysit for Wanda. Tanner? Yeah, Wanda's kid. I got 40 bucks says the kid steals Brent's shoes. 50 bucks says Brent starts crying at some point. Two to one, he cries before 10 o'clock. I'll take that action. What, you ever babysit Wanda's kid? Oh, yeah, once. Kid's a nightmare. How'd she rope you into it? Wanda's a friend. She needed help. There was no roping. There will be. Tanner? Tanner? Tan no. No, no, no. Put the tail down. Put the tail down. No! 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 Uh, Hank? Hmm? Oh, man, you got your hands full with that kid. He's six. What, did he overpower you? I'm not the only one. A lot of folks in this town been thrown into the pit with Tanner. You see Phil over there? Yeah. He babysat for Wanda. So? Watch. Three, two, one. What? Ever since that night, he hasn't been able to go 10 seconds without looking behind him. Three, two, one. OK, that's a little freaky. Hey, Alice. I was wondering if you... Shh. Pardon? This is a library. Shh. We're the only ones here. I'm sorry, Brent, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave if you don't keep it down. Okay, all right. I was just wondering if you had any books on child psychology. On what? Child psychology. Chives on top of me. That's right, Alice. I want a book about chives on top of you. This is the only book we have on child psychology. It was written in 1969. By Dr. Spearmint Fur. I'm not familiar with his work. You know you're sweeping gravel, huh? Nobody else is gonna do it. Yeah, I wonder why that is. What's next on your to-do list? Vacuum the trees? Give these bugs a good polish and wash those rocks. You're smart. Groovy parents. What's that, a hippie book? Kind of, I guess. It's about child psychology. It's about crap. I could teach you everything you need to know. But could you not? The whole key to kids is keeping them off balance, mentally. They screw with you, you screw with them. Kid pulls a prank, you pull two pranks. Kid gets lippy, you smash one of his toys. Gotta keep them on their heels, you know, mentally. On their heels. Yes, I am familiar with your work. Look, Dad, I got a new gun. Oh, yeah? Look what I got! Want a piece of this? Could have sworn I repressed that memory. So you're OK looking after the place while I watch Wanda's kid? I ran the place for 35 years. I think I can handle it for one night without burning it to the ground. In those 35 years, there were seven fires. None of those were my fault. Hey, Brent. Thanks for doing this. Oh, no problem. Tanner, your babysitter's here. He should be right down. They yanked the tooth at 7 a.m. tomorrow, so I should be done by mid-afternoon. Oh, here's some phone numbers. How come you have police and ambulance listed first? Here he is. Tanner, sweetie. This is Brent. You remember Brent, right? Hey, Tanner. How you doing? You're getting to be pretty big boy. 
Well, isn't that nice? Say, Tanner, do you have a favorite toy? One you can't live without? You can't just say emergency vehicle. You have to specify. He calls ambulance. He calls fire department. Who called the cops? I don't want to be a hard case, but gambling is technically illegal, you know. It's not gambling. It's probability analysis. Probability of what? Rent is babysitting Tanner. Want his kid? Ooh, OK. 10 bucks has a fat lip. I say stitches. 50 bucks on broken bones. Well, come on, you guys. Burn to the face some sort of permanent mark. Would the loss of a tooth count as a permanent mark? You guys think Brent's going to be OK, though, right? Right? Tanner? I brought some popcorn. You like popcorn? I brought some movies over. Come uh, show me what movie you want to watch. Tanner, you're kind of creeping me out here. Here's 20 bucks for the gas. Oh, what's that? The Krish. Well, I know I shouldn't, oh, but I can't resist. Are you being smart with me? What? My son sent you, didn't he? All right, you've had your laugh. Now get out of here, smart guy. But I... I said get out. Tanner, you're still here, right? This is just some kind of hide and seek thing. I mean, you can keep hiding, and I'll keep looking. But at least let me know you're here. Ow! These are metal, you know and sharp. There. I'm giving odds on Brent getting two black eyes and a broken nose. Broken nose? Karen? Go ahead. I want 10 bucks on sprained ankle. Uh, no, broken ankle. And 20 bucks if they let me have general ankle injury. OK, do we have general ankle injury? I don't know. Oh, we have permanent limp. What about concussion? Anybody put money down on concussion? No! 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 Relax, we got more mayo. This is crazy. We should be ashamed of ourselves. Our good friend is in grave danger, and we're sitting here trying to profit off his misery. Well, I'm not playing your sick game anymore. Brent needs my help. Does anybody have a coat hanger? Lock the keys in my truck. Gotta keep the kid off balance mentally, huh? All right, I can do that. Kid wants to play, I can play. 1721. 1720. What the hell are you doing? Taking a penny. Right under my nose, plain as day. You got nerve, I'll give you that. Says need a penny, take a penny. You a communist? Get out of here. I don't need your pinko pennies. Wait, you're not scared? I'm Jason, Friday the 13th. All right, I'm Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street. I guess the uh, six-year-olds don't watch a lot of slasher flicks. Hey, you kids, put those magazines down. This isn't a library. Damn kids got nothing better to do? Get out of here. No, no, Mike Myers is Austin Powers. Michael Myers is a killer from Halloween. Oh, hi, Lacey. What brings you over? I felt bad for bailing on you earlier when you asked for my help. I just thought I'd come by and see how things were going. It's going OK, I guess. Come on in. Are you sure everything's OK? Has been a bit of a challenge, sure, but generally OK. Getting a little tired of the toy cars to the head. Any suggestions? Well, I don't know. I'm no good with kids. Did you ask him not to whip cars at your head? Yep. So he threw a truck. Kid's clever. Jeez. High tech. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, 
Not my fault. Dr. Spearman makes a good point here. Dr. Fur, actually. Spearman's his given name. But all right, let's try it. Tanner, dig this. We have to set up some flexible boundaries, man. Like, we'll respect your need for individuality and freedom, but within an elastic embrace of love. We should sit down and rap about your headspace. I'll come out where we can see you, you little puke. You, you cute little puke. Hurts, don't it? Why do they make cars out of metal? They should know there's a certain percentage of children that are evil. I don't know, Bren. I think you might be in over your head with this kid. Have you called Emma? I'm not gonna phone my mom. I should be able to handle this. I'm a grown man. He's six. You're a grown man. He's six. <sighs> Fine. I'll be right there. You will hold up in here till the cavalry comes. Mustang GT. No, it was a Cobra. That was a Mustang. Geez, how much does one to spend on these things? Go. You go. This is your mission. I'm only here to help. It would help if you go get the door. Fine. Hurry! Heck, you missed. What are you, I'm getting tired? Unbelievable. Can't control one small child. Have you got any maws that need swatting while I'm here? And Lacey's with you. Hi, Emma. We're camping? Two adults. And the kid's got you shivering on the floor like a couple of wet puppies. Well, this is no ordinary kid, Ma. This kid is dangerous. So am I. Told you she was good. Trying to steal your own truck? Not exactly Lex Luthor, are you? I lock my keys in the truck. Brent's in trouble. Ankle? I don't know, but I gotta help him. I mean, you're a cop, Davis. You must know how to do this. Okay, listen up. First thing you gotta know, your passenger window's open. Hope that helps. Thanks, Davis. What time is it? 9.28. Perfect. Watch and learn. Tanner Vincent Dollard, in two minutes it'll be 9.30. If you are not in bed by 9.30, I will be coming upstairs. And I won't be coming empty-handed. Was that so hard? How did you do that? Two key elements. Use their whole name. They hardly ever hear all three of their names, so it kind of puts them off balance. Mentally? Exactly. Second, give them an open-ended threat. Nothing specific. That way, their fertile little imaginations fill in the gap with the worst thing they can think of. Whoa, I just got a chill. Look out! Smash! Bam! Rand Herbert, Leroy, you get your tail in better. You won't like what happens next. Which is the kid's room. A child's imagination is their strength and their weakness. You're like Yoda. I don't know what that means. Hey, thanks again for coming over. No problem, I just wish I could have been more help. Brent! Brent! Are you okay? I'm fine, Hank. He's a six-year-old kid. Yeah, where is he? 
He could be watching us right now. Ah, relax. He's upstairs asleep. You... Really? That's impressive. How'd you do it? He called his mommy. He called Wanda? No, he called his mommy. I thought she might be lonely with Dad running the store. Yeah, Brent called Emma. That was your bet, wasn't it? Yep. Fifty bucks on Brent calls Emma. Three to one odds, that's 150 bucks. You know what? I'd take a car to the head any day for that. Lacey Esther Burroughs. That's not my middle name. Charlene? <laughs> Gertie? Sunshine? Fern?